Hey what's going on guys, this is Alm Frost by HD here, and I am bringing you back with another video, and this time it's going to be on the new screenshot that Forge Studios recently has confirmed so far. They sent out a tweet two hours ago of this screenshot with four different player views of the different interfaces that they're going to be coming out to E14. So if we go ahead and zoom in on the left screenshot, that's the Envo interface, what it's going to look like. It's like more chunkier, not as long, like spread out, it's like all packed together. Which makes it like less room, I guess. And also, you can see now that we're getting the books, so we can actually chant our items and stuff, and also rename the pickaxe or any other item in there. So it's pretty awesome. Now we can actually use the anvil to a full extent. We know that's gonna be coming down T14, the full use of the anvil. And you can see in the inventory, there's emerald blocks and flower pots, which we already knew about. So on the right hand side of the screen, in this little part of the screenshot, this is the, how the villager trading is going to look like. So as you see, it's different from the PC because it shows all the trades that you can get from Emerald at once. It doesn't show the error or anything when you keep going. And it shows that little red box around showing you that you have to put the 21 wheat and you will get that Emerald first, not the other two. So it's pretty cool because now we can actually know what trades we can get from a villager and know if he's good or not. And like the PC, you have to guess and just hope you get a better trade. But now we can know. And how thick it's going to be as there's 8 slots in there. It's only going to show 3 to 8 at a time. So like if you clicked on a different villager, it would either show 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8. It would show how much that trader villager thing can actually go up to. Because otherwise it wouldn't make sense if you show 3 at a time. Then after you use the 4 bread, you keep getting more. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be like that. It's going to be random 3 to 8. Like how villagers have, they stop at some points and go others go on all the way. So I think that's how it's going to be. And you can see in this fish and emeralds in the inventory which you already knew which you already had fish too so in the third screenshot as you can see we're getting dyed armor which is pretty cool so it's a pretty different crafting recipe how you do it is you have to put on the leather armor first and then you'll take the piece of the dye that you want to take it and you'll get either click x or a onto the armor you want to dye as you can see right there he's taking the leather cap i mean the dye to the leather cap up there and you can see his leather hat is normal right now and he's going to change it in a second so that's pretty much how it's going to work and this is dye and inventory and a golden apple on there which i can't tell if that's a notch apple or not but i don't know it could be a notch apple but it's kind of hard to see so and the last screenshot that they sent out, it's a different interface for the creative inventory. So first off, as you can see in the building blocks, that's the very first one like it's always going to be. It's more wider because it's new blocks. And if you look closely to the emerald blocks, I believe that's going to be court blocks, but I'm not so for sure yet. It could be court blocks, I don't know yet. But it is wider, and if you look, the paintings next to the building blocks, then the redstone, and then sticks. And then it goes on the health, armor, potions, and then the lava and stuff. And as you see, it's different order now, so the um, pickaxes and stuff and the armor is near to the, towards the end, my gosh, and the sticks and stuff, and it's right there. So it's different um, row and, and stuff, and it's different, and you can see in the inventory, there's a golden carrot, some carpet, and a die, and other thing is. And if I go ahead and look right here, you can see the little doggy in the corner too, which a doggy has a purple collarbone thingy. So I think if you put a die on the doggy, you can change the color of its little collarbone thing, which is actually really, really cool. So now we can put like blue on our dog, it's a little collarbone, and like our favorite color is make it look nice and sweet. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you want to make more videos like this, I'll keep up the news with the screenshots and all the teeth when it updates and the texture packs and stuff like that. Just please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. Bye-bye.